Okay, so we're going to review a little of what we've learned so far in this unit. Make sure you pause the video so that you have time to get everything down. By the end of this lesson, we will be able to simplify expressions by combining like terms. Okay, so to do now, content review, rewrite and simplify the expressions. What do you do with the double negative? So remember, when we are subtracting, we keep change opposite. This becomes 2 plus 3, which is 5. Keep our first number, change subtraction to addition. The opposite of negative 8 is 8, and 4 plus 8 is 12. Keep your first number, change subtraction to addition. The opposite of negative 7 is 7. 6 plus 7 is 13. Keep your first number, change subtraction to addition. The opposite of negative 1 is 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2. Define the two words. So an equation has an equal sign. An expression is made up of a number, a variable, or a product of a number and a variable with another term. For example, 4x plus 4 is an expression. 4x plus 4 equals 20 is an equation because it has this equal sign. So the difference between an expression and an equation is an equation has an equal sign. Make sure you pause the video so that you can get all of this down. All right, the next page, essential vocabulary. A term is a single number, variable, or numbers and variables multiplied together. So 4x, you could just have 4, you could just have x. Those are all terms. Coefficient is the number in front of the variable. So for 4x, 4 is the coefficient. When it asks for the coefficient, you only write down the 4. A constant is a numerical value. A constant never changes. So 24 is a constant. 12 is a constant. 5 is a constant. A variable is a letter used for an unknown number. Our most common variable is x. Let's look at two examples. Watch how to identify each term as a constant or variable term and simplify the expression. Circle or box your answer. So the constant in 6x plus, plus 8 plus 2, the constants are 8 and 2. The variable is x, the coefficient is 6, and to simplify, we combine like terms. So we have 8 plus 2 is 10. Remember that we write our answer in, numer in alphabetical order with our constant at the end. So our answer is 6x plus 10. For the next one, 4x plus 7 plus 3x, 7 is the constant. The variable is x. Like terms are 4x and 3. Coefficients are 4 and 3. And to simplify, we combine like terms. I have a 4x plus 3x, which is 7x. Add your coefficients, keep your variable. And then I bring down what's left, 7x plus 7. 
guided practice. When you're adding like terms, first thing you do is identify the terms of the expression. Anytime we see a plus or minus sign, that is a unique term. Keep the appropriate sign for the term. We will always keep the sign in front of the number. It's like the coefficient. So this negative sign, the subtraction sign, makes the coefficient negative when we are combining the like terms. And then we simplify the expression by combining like terms. So we're adding, but you have to use your integer rules. So follow the steps in order to simplify the expression. Step one, identify the terms. So we have three X, we have eight, we have nine. They're all positive because we're adding. Keep the appropriate term, sign for the each term, and we've done that. So now we combine eight plus nine is 17, and we keep our three X. Since this is positive, we're going to use a plus sign. 3x plus 17. So our terms for the next one is 6x, positive 7, positive 4x. Our like terms are 6x and 4x, so we combine those. 6x plus 4x is 10x. And then we have this positive 7 left over. It's positive, so our operation will be addition. We have 5x, positive 7, positive 9, positive 4x. 5x plus 4x is 9x. 7 plus 9 is 16. It is positive, so we are adding them. 9x plus 16. Identify the constant terms, variable terms. Simplify the expression circle or box your answer. So the coefficients for number one, the coefficient is seven. The constant is eight and six. The variable is x. And to combine like terms, there's only one x term. So we write down seven x and eight plus six is positive 14. So my answer is seven x plus 14. We will add variables the same way regardless of what it looks like. X is the most common, but not the only symbol that we use. Keep that in mind. So for number two, if there is no number in front of a variable, then your coefficient is one. We also have a coefficient of eight. The constant is three. The variable is X. There are two X's, but we only have to write it down one time because we're just identifying what is the variable. And then to simplify, we combine like terms. X plus 8X is 9X, and our constant is 3. For number 3, our constant, our coefficient, make sure you add that, is 3 and 2. The constant is 6 and 12. The variable is A. 3A plus 2A is 5A. 6 plus 12 is 18. 5a plus 18. For number 4, the coefficient is 4 and 1. The constant is 7. The variable is b. And to simplify, it's 5b plus 7. Pause the video. Work out the next three problems, four problems. Then play the video to check your answer. For number 5, there is no coefficient, so you're just going to write none. The constants are 8, 3, and 7. There is no variable, so you will write none. And the simplified expression is 18. For 6 through 8, you notice that you had to write down the words coefficient, constant, variable, and simplify. For number 6, the coefficient is 2, 7, and 1. There is no constant. The variable is G. There are three G's, but you only have to write G down one time. And to simplify, you add all the like terms. 2 plus 7 plus 1 is 10. Keep your variable, 10G. For 7, the coefficients are 1 and 1. Write down both of them. 
The constants are 6 and 6. Write down both of them because there are two different constants. The variable is p. You only write that down one time. And then to simplify, p plus p is 2p. 6 plus 6 is 12. 2p plus 12. For number 8, the coefficient is 8, 1, and 1. Keep in mind, a variable without a number in front of it. Note a coefficient has a coefficient of 1. The constant is 4. The variable is m. To simplify, your answer is 10m plus 4. Make sure you pause the video so you can write all of this down. All right, the next page. Adding with three kinds of terms. Identify the constant terms and variable terms. Simplify the expression. Circle or box your answer. Be careful. Look at the example below. Why can't you add the following terms? We have 5x plus 4y. x and y are two different variables. Therefore, they are not like terms, so we cannot combine them. So for the example, the constant is 4. You have x as one of the variables and y as the other variable. And to simplify, you combine like terms. 5x plus 8x is 13x. 7y plus 2y is 9y. And your constant is 4. 13x plus 9y plus 4. So for number 1, we write down our constants. They are 4 and 3. The first variable term is 5c and 9c. The second variable term is 5d. So to combine like terms, remember we want our answer to be in alphabetical order with the constant at the end. So I'm going to start with my first alphabetical term. 5c plus 9c is 14c plus 5d plus 4 plus 3 is 7. My answer is 14C plus 5D plus 7. Pause the video and work out number 2 and 3. Okay, for number 2, my constant is 7. The first variable terms are 4A and 3A. Remember to include the sign in front of it. The second variable term is 4B and, I'm sorry, B and 9B. So now we combine like terms. Start with your first term alphabetically would be A. 4 plus 3 is 7. Keep your variable. For the second variable term, B has a coefficient of 1. 1 plus 9 is 10. It is positive, so our answer is positive 10. And our constant is 7. 7A plus 10B plus 7. For the third term, or number three, sorry, the constant, there is no constant. So our first variable term, we're going to start with x. We have 3x. We have 7x. We have y for our second variable term, and 6y. We have 5z, and then we have 2f, so that's going to be variable 4. So now we combine like terms. Start with the first alphabetical term, that's going to be 2f. Next in the alphabet, we have x, 3 plus 7 is 10. Then we have y. That's 7y, and last we have 5z. 2f plus 10x plus 7y plus 5z. Work on the following two pages to check for understanding and partner practice with your shoulder partner. Your volume is low. You are only working on this. And then you will complete the independent practice by yourself. The challenge questions you can work with your partner and then justify your answer by yourself. 